Canon Neil Roach was laid to rest today following a funeral service at Christchurch Cathedral. The longtime rector of Holy Cross Anglican Parish died last Saturday after experiencing a short illness. Canon Roach was 78 and had spent the last 54 years in the Bahamas after emigrating from his native Trinidad at the invitation of friend, the late Archdeacon William Thompson. Canon Roach leaves behind his wife Joan, daughters Melanie, Carol, Marie and Michelle and a host of other relatives and friends. If you haven't finished your Christmas shopping, you've got just hours to go and some long lines to wait on. Today, scores of shoppers converged on Bay Street, seeking out bargains and trying to balance the season of giving with a tight economy. Here's Shanae Noel Ferguson. Bay Street was buzzing with activity today as last-minute Christmas shoppers fill the stores looking to get the best deals. But despite the whirlwind of activity associated with the holiday season, there were some mixed reviews on exactly how things are shaping up economically this year. Resident Emery Clark says this year has been a tough one. Last year was much better than this year. As you can see, it's what, two days before Christmas. I am still out. In fact, I'm going to work now. Still trying to make more money to do more things. So this year was a little more difficult. So then I guess some people to pick up for and other people still didn't quite pick up this year. General Manager of the perfume shop Tim Lightborn shared similar views and said this year is looking pretty much like last. It's going to be about the same. The unfortunate part of it is that we've had already three days where the roads have been blocked, which has hurt us tremendously. He is hopeful that more persons will be encouraged to shop at home. Every flight is full and the huge quantities of goods are coming in. They're, they're not supporting the local market to any great extent. Meanwhile, over at John Bull, shoppers flooded the stores to get those popular items. Director of Business Inga Boleg is appreciative that many persons are still opting to do some of their Christmas shopping at their stores. Well, it's definitely starting to look a lot like Christmas um, at John Bull 284 Bay Street. We are certainly grateful for those customers who have come out and patronized the company, not only on Bay Street, but certainly at all of the various locations, including the family of islands. Um, we realize that these are tough economic times. Despite it all, they are certainly still coming out and purchasing those special gifts for those special persons in their lives. And shopper Tara Chipman says that given the economic climate, many of fared well overall. It's really good. It's much better than last year. But now everything seems like it's coming back normal again. So I love the Christmas shopping, especially for my beautiful kids, Yulia and Rhett. Now persons are planning to make the best of this holiday season and are hoping that Christmas 2012 is even better. Janae Noel Ferguson, Sudden S News. A family from Golden Gates, popular for their Christmas creations, has taken the top spot in the 2011 Bahamas Realties Holiday Home Showcase competition. Our Giovanni Stewart was on the panel of, just, of judges. Here's how he saw things. Entry number 13, ah, the joys and sights of Christmas. The Adderley family of Golden Gates has become famous for their elaborate, handcrafted Christmas displays every holiday season, and 2011 is no different. All created in the wintry, wonderful mind of artist Daphne Adderley Sands. Her husband, Frederick, mother, Ruth, and father, James, tell us more about how Daphne does it. Yeah, they, they bought my wife for about two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> she did all the way. She climbed oh. that roof with her dad, and they put everything you see up there together, underground lady. Oh, my I'm God. You, she's the architect I'm the goofer. She's the architect. <laughs> <laughs> daddy put this here, Daddy, even put yes, that yes, Daddy, I thought yes. about this and Daddy, the colors, she mm -hmm. called the colors oh, and everything. <laughs> well, the kids absolutely love it, and uh, we're just thrilled to have you in the competition, mm -hmm. uh, helping us bring more Christmas joy, joy to the Bahamas. The first ever Bahamas Realty Holiday Home Showcase, the brainchild of broker and TV personality, Chandra Parker McCallum. Daphne's custom-made holiday designs line their home on Blue Hill Road South off St. Vincent Drive, from the roof to the front yard and through the side garden. With seasonal installations everywhere, of Santa Claus and snowmen, to Christ and the nativity scene. So much to brighten the minds of the distinguished panel of judges. Bahamas Realty President Robin Brownrigg, Bamboo Shark President and CEO Elaine Pinder, cartoonist Stan Burnside, landscape architect Ethlyn Lundy, and yours truly. I was quite impressed, mm -hmm. especially our first stop. 
that the creativity in there was mm -hmm. a really a wow factor. Okay. I was a kid in the candy store. I think we all were. Yeah. <laughs> we needed sunglasses. The lights were so brilliant. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'd have yeah. to say that um, definitely, you know, the first stop, number 13, oh, mm -hmm. wow, it was just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, the effort out there, I mean, people are really putting it in there this year. Great. I was impressed very much with the differences in the areas that we visited. Mm -hmm. Some people did not have as much money as others, but the creativity was there, mm -hmm. and that pleased me very much. Mm -hmm. And I hope that would inspire other people yeah. to continue with yes. us every Christmas. I was impressed, uh, mm -hmm. like everyone else has said, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you could just feel the spirit mm -hmm. in those yes. neighborhoods uh, mm -hmm. where those uh, neighbors, you know, went to the effort of just creating that uh, Christmas feeling yes. mm -hmm. and in every neighborhood where we went you mm -hmm. could feel the energy around uh, those homes and seeing different people from different walks of life yes. mm -hmm. um, making a difference yes. and, uh, yeah. and putting sp the spirit of Christmas, Christmas at the yeah. forefront mm -hmm. and uh, so it's been heartwarming congratulations once again to lucky number 13 I'm Giovanni Stewart ZNS News It's time for today's Doctor's Hospital Health Tip. Smoking is your choice. And if you don't want to quit smoking, you don't have to. But you should consider it. You may need a few minor adjustments to make it through your day with limited or no cigarette breaks. If you are in a smoke-free environment, no one thinks it's easy to stop smoking or change your daily smoking habits. But research shows your body will adjust within a two to four week period. Remember, it takes 21 days to change a habit. Consider using some of these strategies to get through your day without lighting up. Take regular breaks. Taking a break offers some downtime from the stress involved with your work duties. Change things up a bit. Take your break at a different time or different place. Returning to where you used to smoke will make the craving even stronger. Keep healthy snacks handy. Part of the satisfaction from smoking is the oral stimulation. Keep your mouth busy with low or no calorie substitutes or sugar-free gum. For snacks with calories, watch your portions. Try sugar-free mints, fresh fruit, cut up veggies, fat-free popcorn or crackers, sugar-free jello or pudding cups. You can also ask your doctor for assistance because good health starts with you and kicking the habit. Happy Holidays, this is your Royal Fidelity Business Report. I'm Giovanni Stewart. Prime Minister Hubert Ingram has previewed that the government's National Jobs Training Program, continued government infrastructure and other development projects, and new and additional private sector investments will combine to make 2012 economically better for growing numbers of Bahamians. In his Christmas address, the Prime Minister says projects like Bahamar and the expansion of Borco and Stat Oil in Grand Bahama have been important stimuli for job creation in the all-important construction sector, creating employment and economic security for many Bahamian breadwinners. Staying with the economy, food giant AML Foods Limited releasing results for its third quarter ending October 31st, 2011. And that showed another profitable period for the company. Although recording a decrease in net profit compared to the corresponding period last year, AML showed net profit of $139,000 after pre-opening costs of $90,000 compared to a net profit of $257,000 for the same period last year. Sales also increased by $981,000 or 4.29% over the same period last year. Expanded promotional efforts increased airlift, significant improvement in group and convention bookings, stronger consumer confidence in the United States, and greater collaboration with the Ministry of Tourism and Aviation are all reasons for optimism in 2012. So says the Bahamas Hotel Association President, Stuart Poe. Remember, you can send us an email or join us on www.znsbahamas.com or become our friend on ZNS's official Facebook page. And that was your Royal Fidelity Business Report. Once again, I'm Giovanni Stewart.